They had a masterful set and nobody's gonna pay him. They just clapping. And I know he's broke as shit back there. Wouldn't it be nice if somebody just showed up and gave him a little blessing? And he didn't have to suck me off for it and thanks, cat. This boy, I really needed it. I hope you're reading what, what, what this says. It says a quick take on Cat Williams from my perspective. He said I opened for Cat once. Did five minutes. Wasn't even supposed to get paid. Cat paid me seven fifty. It was the most money I had ever made doing stand up to that point. Why would you do that? If you was actually just trying to help people, you would. People know that's how I pay my tithes. If I got paid a hundred thousand dollars to be at your city, that's a fact. I'm gonna take ten thousand of that and put it in your homeless area. See, that's somebody you can hear Brad in the background. He said that's a fact. He he, he verifying that. And what Cat is saying is exactly what I've always said. If you're gonna give somebody something, don't expect anything, anything in return. If you if you're gonna give. What giving from the heart or giving really giving means you give for you to feel better, not for not even it doesn't like you want to help the person, but you want to. It's more about you feeling good that you try to help. You get what I'm saying? You, it's not like oh, I gave you this thing, so it's like, hey, what did you do with it? None of that. That's that's more business related. If you're giving somebody something, let them have it. There shouldn't be any. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you get what I'm saying? Any uh, uh, expectations for a transaction. Transactions for business. Giving should be for you to feel good. That I tried to do this. I gave because I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Whatever they do with it doesn't matter to me. I gave. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's why I support what you know. Cat, you know that whole ideology. And then you're gonna see why I'm saying so. So he gave this guy seven fifty, right? I right, peep this. For all hundred. Peep this. Peep this. Peep this. Cat Williams a real bro. This is Boosie. I came home, I ain't have nothing, bro. Cat Williams called me to his show. Uh, gave me front row seats, bro. Called me to his show. And when I was leaving the show, I thought he threw me some weed in the car because it was wrapped up in a towel. But it was $15,000, bro. You see this? And, I, and, and, bro, when I see him, I'm going to return the favor, bro. Whatever I got in my pocket, bro. Like That dude did something for me, bro, that... I get emotional talking about it, bro. Like, I really needed it at the time. And I wouldn't stay in nowhere. I mean, I was staying at a hotel with my kids in downtown New Orleans. I ain't even have a nowhere to stay there yet, bro. And, uh, no, I had just got, I had just got the house. I was at the house. I had just rented the house from baby. And, uh, Cat Williams gave me $15,000. You can you can tell he's. Amazing. I thought it was weed. My boy City say, "Ooh, the gave you some weed." And I threw it back there. I unwrapped the towel with the rubber band. Fifteen thousand dollars, bro. <laughs> bro, man, bro. I never forget that, bro. That's how to give, bro. I just want to see him and give him fifteen thousand dollars, bro. Like. He just, you see, you see what he, he didn't just flash up. You know how some people give you, they want to let everybody know, oh, I'm giving you money. Nah, he, he wrapped it up, threw it to him and dipped. He done gone before this man realized it. Like, he think, you know, boy, he opened that shit. But boy, it's already gone. That's how the, like, that's how the giving style, bro. Like, you give quietly. Like, people don't, you know what I'm saying? Because, bro, like, like look at what's going on with him right now. Everybody, that, now all these people that are coming out and, and saying all these things, now it's undeniable. It's like, yo, why would this man just come out here, somebody that's been like this and that, and I just come and say all these, you know, now it gives more credibility to his personality. You know what I'm saying? The way he, the way he carries himself. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it, I'm just saying. Just that little thing, the way he gives. It's crazy. Real for that, bro, you know. And they ain't even know me before I went in, bro. Like, you know what I mean? They ain't give me nothing when I came home. Who was hollering free boosted. And they ain't give me nothing when I came home. Mm. It touched me, bro. See? It touched me, bro. Like, That's and they gave me $15,000, bro. Hey. They had me hollering free boosted all over the world with that bag. And they ain't give me nothing. See, that's that. Look at this one. 
Yo, <clears throat> I was just sitting here thinking, and do me a favor. Anybody that do interviews, anybody know him, Cat Williams, if you're ever around him, ask him, how much money has he ever, how much money has he given away? Mm. Just given away. Mm. Like, just ask him that. Just be like, how much money have you given away? If you See, all these people talking about, just, just look at the way they're talking about it, though. You know what I'm saying? And this tells you, you know, the, the, the way everybody, he's a generous guy and he's quiet about it. And that's where it's like, you can, you know what I'm saying? The sincerity, when you're quiet about how you give, you're not trying to flash for nobody. You don't need to flex for nobody. You're not trying to hold it on nobody's neck. You're not even asking for anything back. You're not even there. That's the way to give. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I've been focusing on the giving, but the person, of course, Cat Williams, shout out to him because, you know what I'm saying, he's a, he's a great guy, apparently. You know what I'm saying? When, when he's a generous guy. Around him, if you're interviewing him, just ask him. Because it has to be insane. Cat is one of the most generous people that you're ever going to meet. And a lot of people don't know that. He don't get a lot of press and love for that. One of the most generous ever. He's had to have given away I don't even know it enough, but it, ha it has to be crazy. Mm. Because there's a lot of people with stories about him giving money to. Case in point, I remember, I remember I was at the comedy store performing one night, got off stage. And this was like early on, early on, before really a whole bunch of stuff was happening. Yo, <clears throat> for me, I get off stage and I'm everybody like, man, good set, good set, good set. So many people saying that. Mm -hmm. Some girl came and put something in my hand and said, good set, but I didn't see her. I just heard her and she walked off and I thought it was like a phone number in my hand. Mm. And when everybody walked away and stuff, I looked in my hand and it was a thousand dollars. Can you imagine how you feel like, right? Trust me, bro. Money that you're not expecting, especially when you need it, but you're not expecting. Oh my God. Money that you're not expecting feels so good when you, oh my God. Yo, drop a comment. Let me know if you've experienced that. Money you're not expecting comes into your pocket. Whether you even whether you need it or you don't need it, but when you need it, it's it's when it's crazier. Like you're not expecting at all to have this, or you know what I'm saying. Maybe even hustling on something else, and then money just, I mean, a good amount. You know, just you like yo, like bro, it feels so good. That feeling is what you should be wishing for when you give. Like that that feeling is basically the goal of what why you give. You get what I'm saying? You want to give somebody so they can feel that and that for them feeling that you satisfied on them feeling that. Like you don't need to see them feeling it, but you just want to believe that what you're giving is going to have that you know cause that reaction in them. Like they need this, you know what I'm saying? They might they might not be expecting but they need this and once they get this there's a certain level of joy that's going to come upon them. And that you just want to make somebody happy. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's kind of like I mean, you could think about it however you want. It's kind of almost like manipulation in a way. You know what I'm saying? You just want to make somebody happy. You don't. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You don't necessarily care. It's not. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you know. Da, da, da. I, I just I just want to make somebody happy. Making somebody happy is what's gonna make me happy right now because I feel like shit right now. Okay, boom. I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of how I see it sometimes. Like sometimes I feel, like when I feel worse when I ain't got none. Da, 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 and I give out that, it feels good. I give out the little, at the last I have, the little I have, it really feels so good. I swear, I, I promise you. This is, sounds crazy. Sounds crazy. But it really does feel good. But, you know what I mean? And then I looked out in the audience trying to find a girl. And I'm like, man, I can't remember her face. And I couldn't see her. And I was just like, who gave me $1,000? But anyway, I just was like, wow. And later on, about a month later, somebody told me that that happened to them. And they said, Cat Williams was in the audience. When I put two and two together and was like, wow, he did that to me then. He never tell you. He never he never makes it known or any of that. So if you're ever around him, ask him. If anybody, if you're ever around him, ask him, how much money have you just given away? And I bet. I ain't going to lie. When I make bread, stupid bread, that's exactly how I want to be. I, I, that's exactly how I want to be. Where people just be like, like you know what I'm saying? Like. They they on the low with it because I'm gonna tell them of course be on the low don't tell nobody nothing but when the time comes where you know whatever you might need that you know need that or you might be in trouble or your 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 whatever your 
you know, your personality, whatever they call it, your uh, integrity is being questioned or something like that. People are there to stand for you. You know what I'm saying? Not that you're even asking them to do it, but they're just there because they, they know who you really are. You know what I'm saying? So, I, you know what I mean? Just, hey, y'all, just be good, bro. Be good. Whatever you think your definition of good is, be that to the world, bro. So people can say stuff about, you know, good stuff about you when you're not even aware of it. You know what I mean? Talking to Cat, right? He just might be like, hold on. Walk in the house, come back outside, 25000 Like, man, just put it in your pocket, Yanni. Yo, <laughs> wait, 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 I've heard what? stories of him right. being very generous, though. Yanni. He would just give you 25000 25000 Then I fly to Vegas. I'm like, man, Not Kat, the wrong neighbors. I was like, man, Cat, I had, he was like, what you did to that, man? I was like, man, I was out there at the store, man. I was like, man, you know they charging 2000 for them chrome heart jeans. 2000 for some jeans. It's crazy. It's the world we live in. Damn, we ain't finna be complaining about the wardrobe budget. Right down. <laughs> when I left, when I left, I looked in my pocket. I had a jean jacket. I'm like, man, that nigga done left ten thousand dollars in my pocket, bro. Bro, I swear that's exactly how I would love to do it, bro. I'm, I promise you, bro. That's the thing, man. That's it, bro. That's just how to do it, bro. Like all that flashy stuff, don't like it. Don't it don't impress nobody, bro. Like yeah, we know you got it. Everybody know you got like. But when you do stuff like this, bro, that's swag, bro, bro. That's class. That's swag. That's gangster. That's whatever you want to call it, bro. Like, you know what I mean? I call Cat like what? Cat. <laughs> Why Cat? I'm like Cat. He like, nah, nigga. And just hung up the phone. Exactly. <laughs> he texts me like, we ain't complaining about no wardrobe budget, oh, man. Oh, God. Like, bro, there you have it, man. The proof is in the pudding. You know what I mean? At least when we're come, when we talking about his generosity, um, his character, you know what I'm saying? He ain't asking for nobody's help, you know. He just, he just that this, you know. What I mean, whether it makes you feel positively towards him or not, this is this is the fact. You know, what I'm saying people coming out to say, "Hey, God is just he a, he a good guy." All right, so y'all, let me know what y'all think about that because I could talk about this a lot, but hey, I just think this is a this is how you give. You give quietly. You know what I mean? Y'all, let me know what y'all think.